Cansortium, CNTMF stock. Haven't looked at these guys in a while, and slowly but surely, they've been putting together a decent little company here. Revenues continue to climb, and in fact, they just hit a record revenue for themselves during a quarter where the rest of the industry, the cannabis stocks, have also seen a record quarter. So that's in line with everything, but I think their move was outsized. And in fact, that's why they popped up on my radar lately. I have a, a video coming out, I think early next week, I'm gonna to put together the fastest growing stocks, which means effectively the stocks that have the highest revenue growth rate. And these guys were in the top portion. I don't remember the exact number, but nonetheless, I'll get that stock, that video out as well. But that's why these guys hit my radar. Um, let's jump in, show you what I'm looking at. This is a stock that's really kind of gone sideways up until the most recent moves happening within cannabis stocks. But now the stock's coming back down. Should you buy the dip? Let's take a look at CNTMF stock. Here's a look at CNTMF stock. Um, since going all the way back to the beginning of the year, this year, calendar year, February. And as you can see, there was a big sh move upward. I think they were right around five cents trading all the way up to, uh, I'm sorry, six cents all the way up to 17 cents, 200% pop. Anybody holding CNTMF stock probably wasn't too upset with that. But since then sliding back down, CNTMF stock might actually kind of keep going sideways to lower. We'll see what happens with the broader industry. It looks like the short sellers want to jump in and kind of ruffle some feathers, but there's still a lot on the horizon. Basically, uh, we're seeing rescheduling in cannabis stocks from schedule one to schedule three, which effectively makes them legal. And simultaneously, um, the Congress wants to put together some kind of legislation to kind of solidify banking for them kind of give them special categorization as well, making it definitely illegal to fall outside of those lines. The black market, be damned, is basically what they're saying. And that will be interesting. Here is a look at Consortium CNTMF stocks revenue. Pretty decent little jump there, quarter over quarter, but it's in line and they've basically been um, kind of incrementally increasing more and more and more and more. Awesome, love that. That's exactly what you're looking for from a company that's kind of building up. And when you think about that, um, you know, they're looking to print about 100 million this year. This is a newer industry. You want to see revenues continuously increasing. Sure, you're going to see a little wavering from quarter to quarter. It might be cyclical, whatever, but this is a new business. And so when you see revenues continually increasing like this, it tells me that customers keep going back. And this weeds out the bad sort of companies out there. I'm not a user of these products. I can't tell you, hey, man, I like this aspect of it or whatever because everybody's completely different. Instead, I look at the consumers and ask the question, generally speaking, what do the consumers think of this product? Well, they keep going back, revenues keep increasing. That's huge. Um, crossed gross margins of 50%, which is huge because the overall industry is about 45%. So these guys are continually increasing their revenues and that increase is actually seeing an outsized increase in margins, meaning fatter bottom lines when they get to that point. Unfortunately, however, operating costs have kind of turned up a little bit, but these guys aren't really that far off. You're looking for a company that's probably gonna be printing between 15 and 20% operating costs. Cansortium being a smaller kind of company, this is a company that's probably likely to get involved with some M&A activity and be consumed. And all of a sudden, they can uh, the new company could sit there and say, listen, we're going to go ahead and chop your operating costs downward by, say, 50%, and thereby um, increasing the footprint of the parent, new parent company, who would then be able to sell products where Consortium sells its products, as well simultaneously um, shrinking costs, growing the bottom line. 
you're going to see lots of M&A activity because in some cases, this is the only way that some companies are going to be able to grow is through M&A and chopping that uh, bottom line, then overlapping their sales programs with the two companies. Nothing wrong with that. EBITDA profits were pretty solid. Um, hopefully we can see a little more consistency. I'm not a huge fan of the up and down, up and down, but this is a biological product and sometimes these things get written off. Net earnings, they're not losing a ton, about 5 million, but that's about 5, 20% of their revenue. And it does create a dent in total equity. Every quarter rolls around, they take a $5 million hit or whatever it might be. They only have to total equity of a little less than 20 million, which means four quarters from now, they will be at zero. So this is a big red flag. So although I like some things I'm seeing, the increasing revenue being one of them, solid gross margins, operating costs are too high and it's eating into the bottom line, total equity, not enough there. Something's likely to happen. And by something, I mean issuing more stock, raising stock, and therefore diluting potential investors. I could see these guys putting together a um, uh, probably a, a debt deal that is convertible. And that would really kind of rattle things. But then it's a matter of, can they beat the clock? Let's say they put together a, a convertible deal with a five-year plan that if we don't um, pay this off in five years, this debt, then we will convert this debt into cash. Now, a prospective uh, investor who might front them, say, $100 million, might look at that and say, well, we'll probably get paid off. So the risk is low. If we don't get paid off, look at what they're doing with the money. They're getting there. So that's a good investment. The only person that gets kind of screwed on this is if they don't aren't able to convert any kind of debt uh, profits and then have to convert the debt. So this is one of the risks that I see with consortium CNTMF stock. Um, would I necessarily get involved in them? There's a lot of companies out there that are doing much better, but this one is interesting. And if they hit their future revenue growth, all of a sudden things get even more interesting. Mind you, they're looking at 25 million increase in 2024. All right. They've got over 50% gross margins, but you squeeze through 25% more product through the system, that is going to have a huge jump in gross margins. Your bottom line starts getting real fat. Next, that increase of 25 million is probably enough to clear and bring operating costs relative to revenue downward sharply. So 2024 is sort of looking like, hmm, interesting. So now all of a sudden, if you are an investor looking to give them, say, 100 million to boost up their um, their capital and it is some kind of con potentially convertible debt eh, you might not be converted and you might know that so you might try and charge a little more up front however they uh, put the terms together that's going to be on them but they may be able to take on debt and not have to use a convertible style kind of thing remember everything's changing so these guys might be able to raise capital in different ways at uh less risky terms but the 25 percent increase in 2024 and then a, a basically it adds up to be about 20 percent increase the year after from analyst expectations these are not mine this could go a long way for consortium and they're really kind of in that sort of middle ground what's going to happen next kind of thing could be interesting let's see if they hit their revenue goals number one thing in the meantime, here's a kind of a bigger look going back um, about two years on CNTMF stock. A lot of room to cover from where they were. It looks like the stock kind of wants to linger and fall a little more. But I think if we continue to see increasing revenue and their gross margins start popping a little more and more and they can contain their uh, sales general administrative costs, their bottom line looks sweeter 
and people might start nibbling at the bottom. And then all of a sudden, Cansortium could probably turn to potential investors and say, take bring us some debt because they are kind of running a little low with room there. Something's likely to happen in the next six months to refinance all that. But it could be interesting. This is one that's hit my radar because of their revenue growth. They're looking at 25% increase for next year alone. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. I've got tons of content like this. I'm trying to find companies like this that sort of stand out for positive reasons and might slingshot in an environment where the rules are shifting in their favor. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. Thanks so much for the great content uh, comments. It's really helping out the channel. It's really expanding. So if you are involved in some of these smaller stocks, I know I'm the only one who's really kind of covering all of them thoroughly. We'll see you in the next video.